Lord, everyone, this is Pastor George Bogle, thanking God that he loves every one of us. He loves the backslider, the one that used to do right and then turned away. He loves the sinner. He loves the ones that are trying to do what's right. God loves us all. May God minister to all of us as we come into this moment. And it is the beginning of Friday. And after Friday, we'll be coming to the weekend. May God minister to all of us. But I'm truly blessed of God as I am fasting every Thursday and Wednesday, the last part of that day, and the first part of a Friday. So I'm still fasting after the day that is my big focus, Thursday. But until it's on in the new day, I will be fasting, thanking God that God is blessing us. But I'm looking at a book, the cover, by a man named Bragg, and it says, The Miracle of Fasting, Proven Throughout History, and then it says, For Physical mental and spiritual rejuvenation. And I want God to bless me physically, mentally, spiritually, spiritually first, but all of it is important. And when we get old in our second half of living, we find that we need God to help us more. And so I'm having my birthday this month on April the 25th, and I'll be age 84. I thank God that he's brought me this far. But I thank God for all of us because God loves all of us. And I want to give the phone number tonight and ask the station when calls appear but the phone number is 313-838-1035. None? Okay. We don't have a call on the line. So I want some of you close to the Lord to pray that night vision would be all that God wants it to be tonight. But that phone number again, and the station will tell me as soon as a call appears, 313-838-1035. And giving that number again, 313-838-1035. May God minister to all of us, I pray.
And uh, Jesus speaking in Matthew chapter 5, verse 48, Jesus said, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. But the Lord has helped me because I know that I'm not perfect and I find I get in this scripture this, be ye therefore better even as your father which is in heaven is perfect. Be ye therefore better. And so I'm praying, asking God, help me to be better. And I don't know if I'll ever be perfect, but Lord, I want to be better. Help me to be better in every bit of living. In Jesus' name, granted God, we shall thank you now. And I'll ask the station again how many calls we have at this moment. The Lord is helping us taking our first call tonight. God bless, you're on the air. Oh, what, <clears throat> oh, what an honor to be the first call on night vision tonight. This is Brother Jerome. Good morning, Hall Pastor Bogle. Oh, hallelujah, Brother Jerome. Keep on. I thank God for you. Thank you. You, you know, Pastor Bogle, it's nice to have material things. Yes. But the most important is not bought. The most important is not bought. What's most important is not bought. You can't purchase it with money. Uh, we can say we can put in that in that space everlasting life. Uh, I got a scripture that backs that up. Okay, Luke, Luke chapter 9, verse 25, and it reads, What good is it for a man to gain the whole world and yet lose or forfeit his very self? So material things are nice, but if you gain this whole world, and your soul is lost. What good is that? Well, the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then the other things will be brought into your moment as well. But we've got to start getting closer to God by knowing that's through Jesus. <laughs> We're quoting scriptures, Pastor Bogle, the good book. Yes, we're quoting. We're quoting scriptures. What a wonderful thing! And God, in in the good book, is God. He he became uh, human and divine to save what save us from our sins. Jesus is the Word. Amen. Question. And, Thank and you. The, there's a scripture that says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin. Thank okay. God the Bible can help us if we hide that word in our heart. It'll keep yes. us from sinning. Yes. The things, you know, the most important things for me, I, I write the scripture down and I, I place it on my wall. I can read it. You know, I'm dealing with uh, my mind because uh, my mind is failing me. 
I'm dealing with, um, oh, I got one scripture here. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. So I write scriptures down and I put them up where I can quote them and read them. And um, it helps me with what I'm dealing with. I appreciate the time, Pastor Bogle. God bless. And God we'll bless speak us to you tonight. Soon. And uh, we resist the devil not by resisting the devil, but by resisting sin that he brings our way. Because so most true. of us don't get that close to the devil. It's the sin that tips us upside down. That's so true. That's so true. He, uh, right. It's a snare. It's a snare. And what age are you at now, brother? I'm 51. Um, I have a birthday in this month. Oh, hallelujah. You're still fairly young. May God keep taking you further. We'll pray for God's blessing. Your name is Brother Jerome, right? Yes, sir. Dear God, I ask that you would be with Brother Jerome. Take him on in every bit of his life. Blessed exceedingly. I ask it in Jesus' name. Bring him further filled with all of your will. I thank you that he is your son, Heavenly Father. And I thank you for all your sons and daughters. Thank you that you call us your family. Minister and bring us further in this moment. In Jesus' name, granted God and we shall thank you and I want to say something to everyone this is the beginning of Friday and I'm just pleading that as many as can send a offering Friday and Saturday of this first week of April. I'm asking that God would help you to do that because we truly need, as we're in the end of the second week on this Friday and Saturday. And so I'm asking all of you that can send an offering Friday, Saturday. Those are good days to do that. May God be with us. Taking our next call, God bless, you're on the air. Good morning, Pastor Bogle, and God bless you, and um, Sister Shirley, and Minister Dave, and the messenger, and everybody that is with um, night vision. Um, this is Sister Saturday. I just wanted to call in and make um, a very special request. Um, I always pray for the ministry that God will bless all of the needs to be met for night vision, for the work that, that you do for the Lord and the kingdom with, with the prayer and um, uh, and then that God will continue to keep you and strengthen you, you know, as you are, you know, uh, aging and you have your birthday coming up this month so we're just saying an extra special prayer for the for the the, the wisdom the wisdom and the that God has um, endowed into you um but I am requesting a very special prayer uh, for myself and I'm just really asking the warriors if they could just really touch and agree with me um prayer for my mother her name is Juanita her first name and uh, she's in a 